Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Cortelli. I'm the Chief of Adult Cardiac Surgery at Memorial Regional Hospital. Cardiovascular disease or heart disease is still very much an epidemic in, in our country, in America. Uh, as many as one in three American adults suffer from some sort of cardiovascular disease. It's estimated that about 16 million people have specifically coronary artery disease, the most common type of heart disease. Uh, Heart disease can carry with it a number of symptoms. It can range from patients who are completely asymptomatic or who have no symptoms at all to patients who have the classic signs of uh, a heart attack, maybe chest pain or heaviness in the chest or the neck or the jaw or the arm, and with it associated shortness of breath, uh, sometimes uh, nausea or sweating or palpitations. We, we know what the risk factors for developing heart disease are. There are really two sets of risk factors. There are the non-modifiable risk factors or the factors that we really can't change, but there are the modifiable risk factors, those things that we can change that would decrease our risk of having heart disease. And from the get-go, the three most important risk factors that we can alter that will decrease your heart disease over a period of time would be number one, a person who smokes should quit smoking and certainly smoking cessation has been proven to uh, to uh, decrease your risk of heart disease and also to if you have developed some heart disease to decrease your risk of having more problems after that the second major risk factor to decrease the, your risk of heart disease would be to uh, change your diet which would help lead to lowering your cholesterol you know cholesterol control is a, is a huge factor in uh, preventing heart disease. The third risk factor uh, would be lack of exercise. Even from a young age, young adults, if they incorporate a regular exercise program, usually about 30 minutes of vigorous exercise a day, into their regimen, that will significantly decrease the risk of developing heart disease. It, uh, it lowers your blood pressure and decreases your risk of developing high blood pressure. It burns calories, so it lowers your weight and also uh, with that probably lowers your cholesterol level because you build muscle and it just also leads to a generally healthier lifestyle. So